Hello friends, in this webcast, we're going to differentiate between the centroid, center of pressure, center of mass, and center of gravity. These four terms are so related to each other that in general cases, they represent the same point. However, for some special cases, they are different. Today, we're going to define and differentiate between these terms. So what is centroid? It is the geometric center of a shape or a body. It can lie inside or outside of the body. It is the arithmetic mean position of all points in the body. A centroid will always be on the axis of symmetry and would not change with property. Finally, it depends on the shape or geometry. Let's see some example what we mean by all these definitions. First, we say that a centroid is the geometric center of a shape or a body. For example, if we consider this general shape, for example, circle, rectangle, or triangle, the centroid will lie at the geometric center. So if you take the radius, the center of a circle would be the centroid for a rectangle. If you can just connect the middle line or diagonals, it will be your centroid. And for triangles, you can also find it if you connect from one edge to the middle of the opposite line. Next, we said it is the arithmetic mean position of all points in the body. For example, if it's a line and you're trying to find the centroid of that line, you can find the centroid using that equation referring to x, y, and z coordinate. How it works, if you consider the image, the line, and if you know x distance from a reference line and a differential segment, dl, if you do the integration divided by the total length of the line, and you can find the centroid position with respect to x reference. You can also find same way the y and z. Similarly, if we talk about an area, now we have to take the x difference for a differential area dA and we have to do the same integration. Similarly, if we do it for a volume, you have to take that small volume bounded by the dot dash green lines to area covered the small volume dv and the distance from reference axis x and then you will get the x coordinate of the centroid and similarly you can get y and z next we say that the centroid will always be on the axis of symmetry for example if you take the left the t shape the centroid will always be on the axis of symmetry. The black line divides the T exactly so that it's a symmetry from left to right or a mirror. Similarly, if we take the I shape on the right side of the image, if you find in this case, there will be two axes of symmetry, one at the middle and one cutting the I. So the centroid will lie at the cross section of the axis of symmetry. Then we also said the centroid would not change with property and it depends on the shape or geometry. For example, if we look for a gold plate or a silver plate or a magnesium plate, the centroid doesn't depend on those value, weight or mass. It depends only on the shape or geometry and thus the centroid for all those different material will be the same point so that was all about centroid now let's see the other three definition and how they are related and different here we're gonna just define those terms and then we're gonna differentiate 
liter slides. So a center of pressure is defined as when an area is subject to a pressure, there exists a point through which the entire force could be concentrated with the same external effect. So if you see the image, there is a pressure on the surface and we can replace that entire pressure on the surface by a point and that is the center of point. If for uniformly distributed pressure, so the pressure distribution doesn't change over distance, the center of pressure and center centroid will be the same point. Now the definition of center of mass is also similar to the center of pressure. It is defined as total mass of the body will be concentrated at a point. And we can assume the whole object as one material point whose mass is equal to the total mass of the body. Now, for example, if you see the image below, instead of having a common shape, we're taking an example of a composite shape, a, a, a bar and a circle. So we know to find the center of mass, we can use this equation. Distance from the reference point, which is the black line on the left, and then the mass of the rod summation of the again x distance from the reference of the circle and summation mass of the circle over the total mass so again it's arithmetic mean so if we know the distance x of the rod from a reference point know the distance from the x of the circle from a reference point and you if you know the masses of individual parts you can know the mass center of mass of the entire body Similarly, the center of gravity definition also sounds similar to the center of mass and center of pressure. It just defined the total weight instead of total mass of the body is concentrated at a point. You can, if you know the center of gravity, you can balance the body at this point. And if you Remember playing in your childhood with a balanced bird that is shown on the right image. If you can balance your bird in a way such that you can play the center of gravity at the tip of the um, bird, then you can balance the entire body at that point. So center of gravity can be balanced by the body where the point of center of gravity lies. Next, we're gonna see what are the differences. So far we talked about similar definitions. So what are the differences between them? First, let's talk about what is the difference between center of mass and centroid. Well, we talked about if it's a uniform body, then the center of mass and centroid are the same point. What if there's a non-uniform density? If you weld two different material or there's a joint material, one part is copper, one part is iron, so there will be change in density. So like we said, centroid doesn't change. It depends on the geometry. So the centroid, if you see the image below, it will be at the joint of the uh, low and high density material. But the center of mass, since it's the center of mass acting, it will be towards the high density material because that's the heavier side. So the center of mass will be different point from the centroid if you have a material that doesn't have uniform density. Now we're gonna see how the center of gravity, centroid and center of mass can be different. They can be different only you have non-uniform density that we just talked about. They can also be three different point if there is also a variation in gravitational field. By gravitational field, we mean on the Earth, you have, you know, gravitational acceleration 9.81. That's the weight changes mass into acceleration, right? 
And if you move to the moon, which where it's 1.62 meter per second square, if you move to the sun, which will be um, 274 meter per second square, and if you're in Mars, you will have 3.71 meter per second square. So all this gravitational field change will also affect the center of gravity. In these cases, they all can be different points. So let's see an example. So let's see, we took the same plate in previous slide, um, where you have two different material with different density joined together. The centroid of the entire body will be the geometric shape, which is at the center, C. And since the right side, the blue part is high density, so the mass is shifted from centroid to the right to balance the between the high density and low density. Now think about the surrounding gravitational field. If somehow in your plate is moving between variational gravitational field, so on the right side you have high gravitational field marked by high density lines and on the left side you have low density lines so due to high gravitational field your center of gravity will be towards the high gravitational field thus we have the center of gravity cog cog is a different point and this is the scenario you can have all those centroids center of gravity and mass as a three different point a special case rather than one point so Finally, we talk about um, differences. There is one common thing for all center of pressure, um, center of um, mass, center of gravity, and centroid that they can lie inside or outside of the body. For example, if you see the hollow circle or rectangular hollow circle, rectangular, cir uh, rectangular plate, hollow plate, and the torus on the right, so the centroid will be in a place which is kind of inside the body but not actually on the body. And that's one example of how they can be outside of the body. Hope um, this was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, you can comment below and I'll try to explain more. Thanks for watching.